What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Brookie Classic. Today, we'll be doing a shoe review on the Nike Zoomex Dragonflies in the Bauman Edition. First things first, obviously I am not sponsored by Nike and they have no control over what I say in this video. Um, I bought these shoes with my own money, so I'll be giving you guys an honest opinion about what I think of the shoes. But, if there's any Nike reps out there watching the video right now, hit me up. We can chat. You can send me some free shoes and I can make more epic shoe reviews. But yeah, with that out of the way guys, let's move on to the shoe review. The Nike Dragonflies are Nike's top end distance running spikes, ranging from anywhere from the 800 to the 10k on the track. These shoes help you run fast. That's why you see them on the feet of so many athletes today, such as Jakob Ingebrigtsen, the world 1500 meter champs at the 2021 Olympic Games, or such as Joshua Cheptegei, the world 5000 meter and 10,000 meter world record holder. Or even the likes of Adam Fogg, also known as Fog Dog, who is a professional runner that just signed with Under Armour. Nike Dragonflies have changed the game. Nike was one of the first, if not the first company to create a fully carbon fiber plated shoe. They started off with the well known Alpha Fly and Vapor Fly, which are two carbon fiber plated marathon road racing shoes. They transferred that, but into a track spike. With the vapor, or well, with the dragonfly having a P black plate in the midsole, covered by a full Zoom X foam to create the so-called super shoe. The dragonfly has a thin upper with lots of breathing holes throughout the top. At the back, you have a small amount of padding around the ankle, and the classic Nike hole at the back to help save weight. Overall, this shoe. Is quite similar to some of the older models, such as the Victory Freeze. As you can see, there's a massive hole, but as from wear and tear for like the two and a half years I've worn these shoes, but yeah, they're pretty similar with lots of breathing holes in the top and also that Nike hole. The midsole is what makes the spike so great. As stated before, the P Black's plate in the midsole. Combined with that full zoom X foam surrounding it creates so much bounce that it just springs you forward. At the bottom you have six spike holes, which is perfect for track and cross country. You have a hard plastic plate at the front and a bit of plastic at the bottom which makes it perfect for any type of slippery surfaces or mud even. On top of all of that guys, you just have a nice looking shoe. In the Bauman Track Club Edition, you have cool lightning bolt Nike logo on both sides of the shoe. You have a custom Bauman Track Club insole in the inside, which is pretty sick. Um, you can see the logo there, it's pretty cool. And then you have a custom dragonfly image right there, which is sick. It's just, you know, nice touch to the shoe, makes it look pretty like sleek almost. So yeah, it makes it look quality. Plus, how could you go wrong with a red, black and white combo shoe? Doesn't it just look so nice? But unfortunately, they sold out of the Bauman Track Club edition. Um, but currently on the Nike website, they just restocked and there is a new like yellowish green color, like a bolt yellowish. So yeah, that's pretty sick. I'll put a photo like somewhere here. Now, moving on to the flaws of the shoe. The only flaw I had with the shoe was that the laces were too long. After I even after I dopin ordered them, they still ended up being too long and they like caught on to my spikes at the bottom of my shoe. To prevent that, what I did was after I tied them up, I put them through the bottom of like the top laces, which like secured it down, but it was just a bit inconvenient and Next time, next version Nike makes, if they just made the laces longer, that'll be great. Overall, this is a great shoe. This is probably one of the best track spikes out there. And yeah, if you're serious about running and you need that extra little help to run those fast PBs, then 
I would 100% recommend this track, Spike Shoe. Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. That's it for today's shoe review, guys. Thanks for watching till the end. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And I'm trying to hit 10 million subscribers by tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe. And yeah, that's it for today. Ciao.